You know your life after gods. The game looks potentially pretty sweet. There's a link in the bot command. Kickstarter. All right. So this is sponsored content for Anaya Life After Gods. We're sponsored today by Exo Genesis Studio. And they have just launched this Kickstarter. We were at 1350 pledge of a $50,000 goal with 46 backers and 28 days to go. So this is a Kickstarter for the game. Uh, I don't know what it's like to try to make a game, but I imagine it's very expensive and this is a way to try to fund making a game that doesn't require you to put a bunch of microtransactions and stuff into the game. So, you know, this is an option and the devs would love it if you checked it out. And if you like the look of the game, uh, dropping some money, like you're basically purchasing a copy of the game later if you just purchase one of the lower tiers, right? Um, if you want to play the game later when it comes out, to feel like you are compelled enough by what it looks like so far to support the Kickstarter, you can. It's set to release quarter one of next year, so pretty soon. And the game is created by some people who worked on games like Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader and Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. There are artists with experience at Disney and Blizzard. There is voice talent. Jessica Carroll is the name that they have given me to tell you about. She worked on Baldur's Gate 3, uh, among, a bothen, among a bunch of other things. And there's an original music score composed by Alex Kestner, who has worked for companies like Lamborghini, Puma, Adidas, and Lego. Ah, and now I'm going to play. Recommended for first playthrough. I'm down. Very fast for a Kickstarter. Oh, like having it out next quarter? Yeah. Well, I mean, the game's already good enough for me to be showing it on stream, right? I forgot my mother's face! But I remember my father. It's too loud. Why always... It's fine. I remember how he was killed. Monsters who hid black hearts behind golden armor. We were walking across the bridge when they attacked our group. Wanderers? Fugitives? I want to forget everything, but night falls, and the little girl is hiding behind her father again, just like many years ago. Screams, the clang of iron, falling into the abyss. Father is not breathing, but still presses me to himself with one hand and an armored glove. The second one is cut off and blood soaked to my clothes. The battle died down long ago. My father's body grew cold, but I'm afraid to move. Suddenly, strong hands lift me up. If I can cry, and then I hear I hear a your voice. voice, Kamzu. You saved me then, and now you're pulling me out of my nightmares. I didn't hit you too hard, did I? I may be old, but one barehanded blow won't kill me. With your father's gauntlet, though, lucky for me, you take off at night. You take it off It's at heavy. Night. I should have thrown it away long ago, but I can't. I pulled the other one off a dead god. It's stupid to wear one gauntlet. Why do I need this gauntlet? To remember him? What do I remember? Who was he? Who were we? I don't know a thing. And I never will. Thank you, Cougar, for Cocoa Puff. You're giving up too soon, Anaya. Sometimes familiar places will help awaken up memories, but we don't always want to go back. What are you up to, Kanzu? We're going to the place where I found you all those years ago. Maybe there you'll find answers to your questions. More, even. Okay. Uh. Here we are. That's cool animation on a 2D character. Anaya, Anaya, are you alive? Get rid of me, mean old man. I can't get out from here, but there are tunnels ahead. I'll try to climb up. Wait for me. I'm not going to sit around. I'll meet you up ahead. Remember, we've seen human footprints. The locals might be spooked by know, how you look. I know, I know. I'll try to sneak in. And if I can't, it'll be a good thing my eyes and white hair scare them. Fewer idiots to fight. Oh, Anaya, I'll see you at the top. Try not to get in trouble. Can I turn the volume down slightly? Settings. Uh, cool. Huh. 
I just need to get to the top. It's nothing. I've been through worse. Much worse. Left stick A. Ooh, you can drop down! So many options. Did the ancient gods really live in these iron boxes? Even a tent would be cozier than this. Were we the ancient gods, Twitch chat? Wait, I thought I was meant to be going to the top. Why am I going down? Oh, it's shaking again. I've got to get out before I fall even deeper. Letter, Hunter's Note. I don't know if the god has black eyes or not, but he eats for ten. The elder sent me hunting again. I'll be gone for a couple of days. There's no game left nearby. I'm getting hungry too. And Konzu has all the supplies. Streamer successfully beats tutorial. Not guaranteed. Ancient gods, what happened to you? Oh no. <laughs> Wait, it's a subway car. Or a train car, maybe, or something. Why are there pots? Why? I'm glad there are no human skulls among the offerings. Who put the pots there? Letter Scout's Note. We approached the village. The spawn is not yet visible, nor are the locals, only the withered ones. We are waiting for you, and we are coming in. Let's unleash the righteous wrath of the Ironskins on the sand. Who are the Ironskins? And who are they looking for? Maybe someday I'll find out what happened to you. Mix between Hades and Hollow Knight. Is Hollow Knight a Metroidvania? Okay. I don't know what it is, but it's right above me. It is? Alright. Letter Love Note. Whether you are a god or a man, I will follow you, Risen One. You promised to show us a miracle by the power of the Golden Orb. I don't need miracles. Your smile is Golden enough. Orb? Isn't it the one from the squeaking ball of the ancients? Is that me? Am I the the risen one or whatever? <gasps> the thing in the picture looks like that squeaking ball of the ancients. Okay. Warning to the traveler. We accepted a stranger called him the risen one. He defiled the creation of the ancients and they sent a monster upon us. Run traveler, this place is cursed. Is that a good thing? There's no one here. No one alive. No one dead. And then? Gotta hurry, or I'll be buried. Phew. Letter, scouts report. We found the savages, or rather their corpses. Some are torn to shreds, others are buried under the rubble. The spawn is not visible, but we will hunt Maybe them down. Maybe whatever killed them might still be around. I think it's going to the top. To Kanzu! I gotta hurry! Is Kanzu where we are from? Inaya and I. Oh, that's the name of the person. Kanzu! I'm here! I'll be right up! Gotcha. Letter, report of Centurion Argus. The savages are dead. The false god is gone, but victory is near. The place where the first spawn was killed 20 years ago is very close. The circle is shrinking soon. The we will bastard find. was killed decades ago? Maybe... Kansu, you finally got out. We have to go trust this old vagabond's gut. There's something wrong here. I'm not gonna argue. The locals are gone and there's this rumbling all the time. There it is again! You hear that? It's even louder now! Wait, the music. Wait, it's kind of going hard. Aren't Metroidvania likes just called Metroidvania? Oh, I'm not going to run. 
Oh, Konzu's dead. Oh, that's why they didn't bother hiring a voice actor for him. <laughs> I, I think it's because it's an alpha and they just don't have it all done yet. Oh, I died. Well, that was sudden. I guess we have found out that we have one. Rocked ahead is Occam and Fallen. Should have brought my hard hat. <gasps> I escaped. A dead end. Oh, I didn't escape. That creature killed Konzu. What's going on? Oh shit! I started the subway train by punching it. <laughs> I do really enjoy a subway train as a narrative device. Could have done what Bethesda does and hired the most prominent voice actor for the character that dies Why in the beginning. Why didn't this iron box of the ancients smash on the rocks Wait, who me? is that character? Is it Sean Where Bean? Am I supposed to go now? Don't tell me it's Why? Sean Bean. I'm... I'm all alone. You're not alone, and I uh, get up. Wait, Kanzu still talks even though he's dead. You've always shown me the way. Patrick Stewart in Oblivion. Where oh yeah! I remember that vaguely. Go to the place where fate brought us together. We'll get there, the two of us. Remember what I told you at the campsite? I don't. We were going in circles. <laughs> you said it's a straight road, a three to four day walk. Only I wasn't walking. I was rushing in an iron box. Oh? You haven't lost your way. You have to move, Anaya. I don't know what you think I'll find there, but... It's certainly not worth your life. Can I take the train again? What do I, I have other than punch? Before, but it's all a blur. This place is from my nightmares. Why did you bring me here, Konzu? The bridge <laughs> collapsed. Then we were able to walk across it. Towards death. That Liam Neeson's and Fallout was 3. Worn by the bastards that killed my father. Tons of light. Somewhere around here is where Konzu found me as a child. What's happening? Dad's gauntlet is vibrating. What's that sound? I think it's coming from over there. Where? Dunday. Okay. This wall can be broken down, but you need something stronger than a fist. Uh. Uh. Suddenly the game is getting over it. Uh, oh, you can go this way for that. Is that stronger than a what fist? What the hell is this flying bug-eyed thing? I think it dropped my father's second gauntlet. Oh? Dad's arm was cut off, but he fought to the end and gave his life for me. And I <laughs> Do ran you away. think hitting something with two fists is stronger than hitting it with one fist, maybe? Hmm. For your gift, Father. Even though I don't deserve it, I I miss you so much. Combat tutorial: Blades. 
can allow for a three strike combo that generates zeal, a special resource used to activate blade abilities. Blades allow you to bounce off sharp objects and enemies. Fists. Each second while using blazing fists, the character gains one unit of heat. The character instantly cools down when exiting the heat state. Flail. Mace attacks consume pulse and deal 50% increased damage. Pulse regenerates every 30 seconds or via abilities. Movement. Blades allow you to reach higher platforms by striking upwards. And you can bounce off spikes and enemies, greatly simplifying movement. Fists allow you to jump off special walls and cling to golden ledges. The fists also have a blast wave that pushes the player in the opposite direction, allowing them to climb to higher platforms. Lesbians with punchy gauntlets are worth investing into right now. Is this an arcane reference? I had to think about that for a while. I haven't watched uh, season two of Arcane. I haven't finished season one of Arcane. The flail allows you to magnetize to special objects on locations. Okay, but I don't have most of those yet. Once you've found all three weapon types, you can juggle them in motion and in combat. That sounds kind of cool. All right, choose a new weapon. Oh, I get to choose. Uh, let's start with the blades because they are on the left, I guess. And then... Can I change to a different one? Nice. I hit it for 11 or something. Okay, that's the up slash. I don't entirely know what that one is. Right stick? Oh, I got angry here. And I can jump further. This is like my ultimate ability. Alright. Once you've chosen a weapon at this location, you will not be able to change it. However, later in the game, you'll be able to find and use all three weapons. Yeah, let's go, Blades. You died, but you still brought me where you had to. These gauntlets are formidable, but I don't think we're here for them. Are we, Konzu? No healing herbs can conquer old age, Naya. Be it a beast or time, our separation was inevitable. I wanted to give you a chance People to find... People like me? Who you've only seen once? Were you leading me to a place where I can begin the search for my tribe? Yes, and I'm not leaving you until I'll you find try, them. I'll Konzu. I'll talk to the locals. Maybe they ran into someone like me. Alright, cool. Hint, now you can upgrade your weapons through the main menu. If you need to reset the upgrades, you can return to the console on which you selected weapons in this room. I can upgrade my weapons through the main menu. Implants? Oh. Am I about to get one of those? Wait, can I attack upwards? Did I take the only weapon that can't get up there? <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Is this a roguelike? It's a Metroidvania. So powerful. Oh god. Run for your life. Uh, okay. Swords must be the most powerful. That's why it's harder to platform with them. Interesting that you can choose between several movement abilities at the start. You don't usually see that. Yeah, it is. And the level design seems like it is immediately set up so that depending on which one you chose, you can go different ways. Water is falling from the sky here. These locals are lucky. Okay. 
I have not played like any games like this, so you know, I'll do my best. I played some Hollow Knight. I guess Hollow Knight is like this. I also played a lot of Celeste, which is not really like this, but isn't not like this either. What's happening? Here's our first local! You know I kind of like him. Doesn't throw stones, doesn't call me names, doesn't stare at my legs. Not everyone we meet during our journey over the years... We met oh, during our journey over the years showed you hostility, though there were quite a few. Yeah, not everyone. Some were just scared, others wanted something. Most often to kill a dreadful beast or savages threatening their village for a few scraps. I know how you feel about people, but you'll have to learn to get along with them, Anaya. No, I won't. I'll just find my tribe as you want. Life will be easier when everyone around is like me. That's true, but there are still many trials ahead, and your disdain for people might make them harder. I can't decide if this is a... Uh... We learn to overcome xenophobia story, or a... We're just xenophobic and that's correct uh, story. It's that flying iron thing again. Maybe it's following me. I have not played Nine Souls. Ow. Unbelievable. Alright, where is this flying thing? Looks like the flying thing is scurried away. Tutorial saving the game. As you explore locations, you'll encounter special consoles that allow you to save your progress. If you die, you will return to the last console. Okay. Who's waiting in ambush? Am I floating? Ooh. Cool. So if we go up high, we can leave this room to the right in a different way. Nope. What does it say? Yonseik Kanan Nansian Dewin. Is anybody in here Irish? Too bad I can't understand the ancient's language. Indeed. How do I see my map? Like usually, like that? The Lair of the Green. The Path of No Return. Wait. I want to try going up here, though. No, I can't. Upsetting. How much Hollow Knight did I play? I think I beat, like, the first three bosses or something, so not tons. Help! It's going to eat me. Speaking of bosses, the inflorescence. This does seem a lot like Hollow Knight, though, actually. Oh, he's the best in the world. I one-shot it. I bet no one's ever done that before. I'm Rongo, chief of the lords of the secret paths. You are now a friend of the tribe, and we welcome you into our domain. What's your Inaya. name? Inaya. Your domain? Well, well, aren't you a little young to be a tribal chief? I'm actually the oldest. I was chosen by the chief pathfinder and the tamer of iron. The tribe's unanimous decision. Well, almost unanimous. I didn't write my name. It's not fair to vote for yourself. We don't do that in our tribe. Tribe or two is already a majority. That's a new one, but we work with what we have. Seen anyone like me, chief? Sorry, never, but we'll help you with your search. Let me just gather counsel. By the way, have you seen my you friends? You're the first person I've met here. No pathfinders or tamers. Maybe they went to visit some girls and left you out, chief? Nah, they're on an important mission, and the only girl here is the Swamp Witch, but they won't go near her. He's pretty, but so mean. When you meet my friends, send them to our secret sanctuary. We'll find your tribe. Now, as a thank you, please take this healing flower. Oh, thank you. Love that. Those gauntlets ate the flower and bit you. Are you alright? What? The gauntlets did what? <laughs> I don't understand. Yes. I actually feel better now. I oh, feel okay. energized. Like I... Ate the healing flower? Why don't you feed the gauntlet with different useful flowers? I can tell... I can even tell you where they might grow. Thank you, but maybe another time, when I find my tribe, either alone or with your help. See you, chief. I have an injector which restores health. 
I also played some Rogue Legacy, that's true. Did I play Rogue Legacy or Rogue Legacy 2? Rogue Legacy, right? Our protagonist seems mean. Our protagonist seems confused. We have a dialogue option. The boy was lucky to meet you. If you would risk their lives to save a stranger, you didn't hesitate to rush into a fight. Uh, I wish I could have saved you. I saved him, but I didn't save you. I didn't even try. Presumably, our protagonist eventually stops being so mean. That is what I choose to believe. We're both he dead, Anaya. Self-hatred makes a poor traveling companion on a hard road. I know conversations are hard for you. I used to take that burden from you, but now, please, be kinder to those who mean you no harm. I'll try, but it won't be easy. It's easier to kill a monster than to hold my temper. The world is dangerous, and Rongo plays at being a chief? You're right, but show him some leniency. Remember, actions matter more than words, but don't underestimate their power either. But don't under underestimate their power either. Blades allow you to reach higher platforms by bouncing off spikes and enemies. Do this strike downward while above an enemy or spikes. Okay, are there going to be spikes down here? There are. Aha! Sorry, how do I get to the Oh. Ah! I have been debated. The local plants have gone absolutely berserk. What do you think their trial of pain PB is? The devs of this game? Is that what it's called? I don't actually remember what it's called. Okay, what is that? Oh, 40 bucks. Okay. It is 40 bucks. Path of Pain. Yeah, that one. Is there a hotkey to see the map? Or do I have to do that? I am in the lair of the green maw. Finish off the toothy bush. Player mark. Wait, no, I'm here. Wait, where am I? What does player mark mean? What is this? The find of the Swamp Witch. Oh, these are like places with objectives, and I am here, I think. Finish off the toothy bush? Wait, I didn't do that? Open quest. Uh, I couldn't handle the toothy bush's armor. I need to find a way to make it open up. Okay. I see. Ah! I walked out to the bridge from my past and my nightmares again. Alright, where shall we go? Shall we go? Mysterious signs. Check the first spot. We could go down here. Find the swamp witch. Let's do that. Ow. All of my health is gone. Whoops. Okay, what do we think the stuff on the left is? So I have my health bar. What is this? Is that my respawns? What is T? Oh, it was a healing... healing thing. Okay. What is the... Oh, it's up on my left button. Okay. There's a new save point. Cool. Get your rolls. I'm going pretty well. I'm going to a concert tonight. And this afternoon we are checking out Inaya. <laughs> Tell where the hitbox is for those things. Hmm. 
Because I can bounce off enemies. Hmm. But they have to be below me. Right. Press the white button to heal. <laughs> thought about an original Xbox controller for a long time. You can just barely make out that that is a D-pad in that little graphic in the top left with the, with the up and the D-pad. Um, ow. Oh my god. Highlighted. my ultimate. Which jump sire? Nope. Maybe I can't go there with that movement. Maybe I'm not meant to go there. Hold on. Well, there is a room over there, but I guess I don't have to go to that room to continue. There's a lot of killer plants around here. I wonder what's causing them to spread like this. Me too, Inaya. Me too. Ah! Excuse me, sorry. Uh, oh, I could have just jumped up there. The fire has long gone out. Is the Traveler still alive? Oh, this fire? That's a good question. I don't know. Where is the Traveler? Might have been a pogo challenge. Ah! Oh, you think if we go back into the room, the enemies will respawn? Probably, right? The Adobe of Stone Goddesses. Sorry, Adobe? Isn't it abode? What does adobe mean? I thought that was like this, like, um, image editing software company. Oh, hello. One of the most absurd deaths I've ever seen. Who died? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I get it. Okay, well... It's a type of rock. Okay. That's you. Sorry to hear about your demise. Why locked? So there's an abode, which is a dwelling, but there's also an adobe, which is a do dwelling. Am I wrong about what abode means? I'm locking this up. Jovan, thanks for the 25 months. Appreciate it. It's pronounced adobe. Sure. Abode is also a company, and it is a place of residence, a house, or home. This is... Etymology. This word is mid 13th century from Old English. Oh, it's from the, the noun for abide. Action of waiting. So, like, your house is where you wait. Sure. What about adobe? The Egyptian hieroglyph for brick which evolved into the Arabic word at-tob. 
at Tobe, at Tobe, I don't know how to pronounce it, meaning the brick. The Arabic word was adopted into Spanish and English borrowed it in the early 18th century. What a mess. Etymology is wild. How did they work that out? Imagine not knowing that in advance and then having to decide. A kind of clay used as a building material, typically in the form of sun-dyed bricks. So you can have adobe. It's adobe. The E is like that. Okay. So you could have an adobe abode. But not an adobe abode. -y. And not an adobe abode. Abode. Oh my god. An adobe abode or an adobe abode are both incorrect, which I think is a shame. Now explain adobo sauce. Oh god, there's a thing. I was distracted by etymology. <laughs> oh. Still alive. Lucky. Wait, it didn't die? I thought I killed it. Closed captioning is struggling right now. <laughs> so am I. Um, it's not the only one. Oh, are these sort of bouncing off with like the sword? Hmm. Well, not like that. Is it the same root as wattle and daub? I have I don't know. I've moved on to other things. Uh I, oh god. Okay, there you go. No, you can't jump off those. Strange. Am I not strong enough to kill this, or what's happening? It's like I can hit it, but it doesn't die. Do I need to take notes while I'm playing? Return to this room later. Kind of things. The glowing purple things are a different method. A different weapons method of crap. Oh yeah! <laughs> the like flail or something, right? Get magnetized to things. I think you're right. Ow. When do I get a level up that gives me like plus one strength or whatever? That feels like it's a crucial part of any game like this. How do I fight um, a... What's the name of the crab that you fight in um, Elder Scrolls Morrowind to get 99 endurance? How do I fight one of those? Was that a person? Is that a person? No. Like a dinosaur or something? Okay. Wait, but there are dinosaurs? Apparently there are a lot of those big toothed creatures up ahead. All right. Mud crabs, yeah. Oh nice, I reached a save point. Daub is from Latin de albare. De albare, to whiten or whitewash. Elba, but elba means, um, but Alva means white, doesn't it? it? Means cloud. To make it less cloudy is to whitewash it. I guess if the clouds are dark clouds. The Feast of Scavengers. They only give me four of the orange gem things. Not even worth playing. Also, they seem to be like hitting me repeatedly. Oh, 
Come on. Okay, I've developed my new strap. Hey. Does this game let you pet the dog? Yes. With your sword. <laughs> Huh? Open the fast travel. Ah, oh, I found a place you can fast travel to. Okay, I get it. I have fought blood crabs faster than you. Same. Or fiercer than you, sorry. Yes. That is exactly what the civilians say when they draw their knife after you. Start killing them or whatever. I feel kinda OP. I feel like I could not kill this many dinosaurs in real life. Could? Well, look, not everyone's like you, Hummingbird. Huh. Is sword pokeing very similar to, like, what it is in this game in real life? I imagine it is. Too many floating pieces of iron here. Maybe this is their lair. Sorry, whose lair? The sky iron? Damage increased by 15%. Is that all of my damage? I think that's all of my damage. If you can beat this game, you can do it IRL. There's that one guy in baseball who can double jump. Talking about people being able to double jump is all funny until you like see a human being do it and then you're like, oh, well. Huh. Okay then. Tatis? Tatis Jr. or something? I don't remember the names of baseball players. I'm not a baseball. <laughs> Thanksgiving is the time where we try to figure out how many dinosaurs we can kill. Yes, and then you can pair with, like, your step-parents. Parents-in-law? Parents-in-law. What is that? That looks... Oh, well, okay. I found out what it was. Oh! Okay, they taught me something that was important for me to know. Thank you. Appreciate that game. Whoa, what's that foul stench? Hey! Are you the one they call the Swamp Witch? I'm sorry, how do I know about the Swamp Witch? You can just call me Death. Oh. Whoa! Hitless challenge Calm one. down, will you? Has the stench driven you out of your mind? I want to talk to you. The guy talked about her. Oh, really? You speak to a stranger with a spear to his throat. The first rule for a good conversation and a slightly longer life in the swamps. Rongo was right when he said you were mean. I'd argue with him on the pretty part, though. 
Look who's talking. The fat one's still alive. In the swamps, he'd be torn to pieces. Are your predators extinct if such Not fools extinct. survive? Even the bushes grow teeth. Hey, have you seen any people like me around your swamps? The marshes are full of vile things, but I've never met anyone like you. Otherwise, I'd know how to deal with you. You're well, in luck. I guess I'm just wasting my time here. How do you live here in this stench? I would have left a long time ago. I have business to take care of, and I need a boat. A monstrously strong boat, or the water here will corrode the I don't think you can build it alone. Ask Rongo for help. He won't say no to his swamp witch. I knew I kept him alive for a reason. That's not a bad idea. But stop calling me a swamp witch. I'm Nyx, and the you are- The witch slayer? No, that's too long. Just call me Anaya. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you around, Nyx. Okay. I think, um, everyone here is pretty rude. <laughs> That's my impression. <laughs> Can we play as the Swamp Witch instead? If only. Maybe that'll be the sequel. What do you want? I don't like it when people get close to me. Fair. Actually kind of reasonable. Old words for someone who almost got beat up by a Swamp Witch. Did I? I feel like I won handily. The Dead River. I see. I see. I understand. Okay. <laughs> That's what we need the boat for. Okay. Very good. Uh, it doesn't look like dying loses you all your stuff, so that's good. Can I go here? Last travel point. Select. Oh, I don't think I opened it. Wait, no, because I can't click on that. How do I fast travel? Oh, probably I have to go back to the other one and then I can go from there. Have you come to scold me for being rude? Never mind that she attacked me. It's rare I spare those who try to kill us. You could at least praise me. Looks like the girl's been through a lot. She learned to stand up for herself, but she is bitter. You were right to spare her. She's of no use to me dead. A dead girl can't tell me anything. And I still need to know where to find my tribe. <laughs> when strangers ask me my name, I always say you can call me death. Mm -hmm. I admire your commitment to your goal. I just hope you won't use it as an excuse to do something evil. It doesn't sound like me. I wouldn't do something evil. Probably. Well, I don't know. How much would you pay me? <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to find the fast triple point. Oh, what's this? Mysterious signs. Well, let's go do that. Since I'm already What's that nearby. More? I think it's somewhere up ahead. I better check it out. But I better stay sharp. There are. There's a roar up ahead. Maybe there's something in here that I didn't do before. Oh. Oh, I have a roll. Shouldn't have rolled at me. Correct. Roll makes me invincible. He's too good. Okay. So there's like something somewhere, but I don't know where. Is this how I came in the first time? Where am I now? I think this is how I came in the first time. I would turn evil the millionaire I become a billionaire. The millisecond I become a billionaire. Actually, I would turn evil the billisecond I became a billionaire. The difference between a millisecond and a billisecond is about one millisecond. Wait, no, one millisecond. Wait. It ripped the pack to shreds, and these things are fast. <laughs> it even threw one up to the top. 
can't become a billionaire without already being evil. What if everyone in the world just decided they really liked watching me play, uh, Inaya? Oh, well, that wasn't very good. Okay, so probably not everyone in the world <laughs> will enjoy watching me do that. Or just like most of the people in the world. Did you hear that what are you doing here? A large beast, but smaller than those I met in the marshes, and killed. Maybe I'll kill this one for practice. It'll Gone make good mad soup. from hunger? Find some prey you can handle, but don't mess with that thing. It'll eat you alive, and your spear won't help. You won't give me your gauntlets, will you? I'm not counting on my spear, but my skills. I'll find the beast's weak spot, the and then will smell you as soon as you approach it. You're a lousy hunter, but even you can be taught. Find any sign of predators nearby and come back. Why are you sharing your great hunting wisdom with me all of a sudden? So we'll be even, and you can still be of use to me. Go now, for the trail goes cold. Quest received, hunting wisdom. But that's not the hunting wisdom quest. Where is the hunting wisdom quest? Where is my quest log? Hunting wisdom. Find the beast's tracks. Okay. Now, this is kind of wild because I I'm playing something. an alpha of a game. Claw marks on a rock, and they go way up high. Oh, okay. So we have to go up high. I'm playing an alpha of a game, which means that Twitch chat doesn't know either. That's so exciting. Like, I have to work this out by myself. Twitch chat, you are welcome to, uh, try to help. I think it was probably in that room I was in. The Brewer's Hideout. Now let's go back. Twitch chat will find a way to backseat. Oh, yeah, I mean, knowing the right thing is, uh, Prerequisite in any way to suggesting solutions. Just wait until we get to a shop floor. Oh my gosh, I am looking forward to it. Alright, we have to climb way up high to find the beast. Oh, I did this again. Ha! Pogo challenge. He's a genius. Oh, I made it over here. I'm still in the same room. That's a fast travel point? That's the fast travel point. I found the fast travel point again. I haven't activated the other one from the other room. That's why I can't use it. Okay. Okay, great. So this wasn't where it was. Maybe it's over this way. And this is where I was before I fell down last time. There are claws still. So it kept going higher. But where? Where higher? Where did it go? Oh, yeah, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Wait, there's a room there that I haven't gone to. Maybe that's where it is. Let's go this way. Did I ever play Hollow Knight? You think the glowy blue dot was it? What is the glowy blue dot? Is that a quest tracker? I don't think it's a quest tracker. I don't know what it is. <sighs> yeah, I killed like three bosses on Hollow Knight or something. I fought against something that was like a bumblebee, maybe. And I fought against something that was really rich. And probably something else. I think some lady with knives. 
There was a glowing just outside the fast room spike pit. Alright, we go back to the fast travel room. Why did I stop playing Hollow Knight? Uh, it was less interesting than other games I could play. I forgot what I switched to, but... Played a bit of Rogue Legacy. This feels like it's an enemy. Look at it, it looks so menacing. There's a glowy thing outside of the fast travel room. That thing? Yeah, I have more time in Rogue Legacy than Hollow Knight, probably, and I have still more time in Celeste, which is actually the game I would play if I wanted a platformer. Back a little bit. Okay, so let's use directions like left or right. Down. I've seen enough. It's all clear to me. That thing. I've seen enough. It's all clear to me. Oh, so now I know. Oh, wow. Okay. I cool. found a pack of mauled scavengers. <laughs> well done, One of them above me, and claw marks on a stone pillar three times as high as me. I also saw a hovering piece of ancient iron that had been torn apart. It was strong, but the creature tore a huge chunk out of it. Not bad. I thought you'd just find the beast's droppings after you stepped right in it. What are the tracks telling you? You don't want to mess with that thing, and I need to stay sharp while I'm in these lands. Let me elaborate. Tracks help us estimate the beast's size. Claw marks, even in rock, leave yourself open and it'll strip you to the bone. The beast's obviously large, but agile enough to tear apart a pack of scavengers. You figured out what all tracks indicate, right? Yeah, but you seem like you're enjoying yourself. Just say it. Figure it out, of course. The beast is a very agile and high climber. It jumps down and crushes you with a single Only hit. Only if I provoke it. Do you often have to scour for tracks? Always, if you want to survive. Keeping notes and chatting with the locals can help you learn about beasts. I hate talking. What Depends about you? Depends on who I'm talking to. <laughs> Still... Why did you decide to help me? <laughs> to learn more about different beasts. I can't find them all, but you can share hunting stories and trophies. I can take a head or... Are you kidding me? I'll tell you where I drop the carcasses. Go and cut the heads off yourself or whatever else. I'm not interested. Pfft. Look who's all clean and proper. If you kill a large and dangerous beast, come find me. Tell me how it went. Happy hunting. Uh... What is this? Does it just deal more damage? Oh, sure there it is. Anyway, quest received the Great Hunt. Task received kill monsters in the Predatory Forest. Uh, journal. The Predatory Forest. Mysterious Signs. Oh, that's what that is. The Great Hunt. Kill monsters in predatory forests, sandy lands, the monster in the flesh thicket. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out this gauntlet thing. You didn't know forests could be predatory? Oh yeah, absolutely. Flesh thicket sounds kinda wrong. Yeah. Is that is that the beast? Is that the one that can fall down and kill me in a single strike? Oh, it distracted me. Clever. Clever of it. I don't think you could get this far without having the sword. Throw spears at the beast from above? Three did not even climb onto the flying piece of iron. And I barely had time to jump off it. This creature also shoots needles up, and then they fly down. I almost died because of him. The dead herds. Okay. 
Give the shaman whatever he wants. I almost lost my legs. It was swollen and festered until he pulled out the needles. How could I step on them? Apparently the creature is shedding. That's why it scatters needles. Look under your feet, too. Activated ultimate mode. Okay, I got ooh, 18 gold. I am running very low on health and haven't found a respawn point recently. A little concerned about that. Can I get up there? only hit the legs. A bad dodge or incomplete cover. I updated my bestiary. I get plus 15% damage against an eagle spam. Alright, so finding out things about the enemies means you deal more damage to the enemy. I think this is a walkable neighborhood, honestly. This kind of mixed-use urbanism is illegal in most uh, parts of America. I found a save point, or a respawn point, or whatever. Come down. Ooh. That's. I've never played a game like this where they like teach you what the boss is through environmental storytelling before you actually fight the boss. That's kind of a clever idea. I don't hate it. Using my pre knowledge to get absolutely annihilated by it. It's like Minority Report. Ow. Oh, I can just uh, dash through those, I guess.
Oh my god, it still has so much health. Why is still so much health, man? It's okay. It basically can't hit me. It has no, like, attack upward, so if I just do this, I'm invincible. Oh, it has phases, huh? Whoops. <clears throat> it's okay, we get it this time. Am I meant to be fighting this? I mean... I, I think so. I have a variety of quests which are telling me to fight this right now. It is possible, by the way, that the reason it has so much health is that I am so bad at getting damage. There's a platform up there. what happens when it gets to the next bit of health. Do its moves change? Ah! Oh, it does this. Great. And then it, like, shoots up. Wait. Wait, it just, like... Oh my god. Okay, maybe I'm not meant to be fighting this! <laughs> Stop. Maybe it just has like a brief OP period though. Feels like it went OP for a little bit and then went back to normal ish. Did we forget to upgrade our weapon with Titanite? I certainly forgot to upgrade my weapon. How much of a damage boost is the weapon? We can find out together. I think it's like a times two. How do I activate it? Oh, it's not even available. Okay, Not a button moment. Oh, you can parry! Neat. I didn't know about that. Yeah, pressing B doesn't do anything. Pressing Y does something. Also, my ultimate, ultimate isn't available. I don't know what's up. No! Game disable my skills for the boss fight. 
Friends. Ah! Okay, now run away. Okay, now momentary hell mode. I think. It's kind of like uh, playing with seven baits as fishermen, actually. I've been training for that exact pattern. I had all that cool stuff except for when I needed it, kinda like human rights. I can't believe I got hit by both of those. I shouldn't wear such a big hat. Is that 50%? Ish. I'm getting better. Bad news for our friend the Eagle Spin. Sockets shoot one thing at a time when you're above it. I feel like it's most uh, dangerous attack. I messed that up, I messed that up, we're at 1 HP. It's fine though, we couldn't possibly die with it at 2 HP, right? Nah, I'm Jorbs, I am Clutch. These are the situations that I live for. I need to examine the body. He looks just like me. He even wore gauntlets of the ancients. Choose a new weapon. Oh, I can get another weapon. Uh, let's get grapple as well. Close. Control scheme selection. Weapon switching is carried out in a circle using the next weapon and previous weapon buttons. Switching weapons is done by holding down the change weapon button and selecting a new weapon in the radial menu. 
weapon switching is done. And pressing the button corresponding to the weapon, each weapon will have its own button. Uh, we'll go buttons. I don't know. What's that saying? Damage from spikes and environmental objects reduced by 50%. Nice. Did I just moonwalk? I mean... There's a lot that I know how to do, I guess. What quest did I just finish? That is one of four monsters to kill in the predatory forest. He looks so much like me. He even wore the same ancient gauntlets. If I'd been here earlier, I could have saved him. Why am I so unlucky? So unlucky. The path to your goal is winding, but now you're headed in the right direction. Learn to make the most of the hand that fate deals, Naya. I could use his weapon. You said make the most, right? This is pragmatism. Well, I could surely use his weapon. Like you said, they're dead. They don't care, right? I was taught what pragmatism was when we were studying All Quiet on the Western Front and one of the soldiers the soldiers were like sad that someone was in hospital and one of the soldiers was like if he dies I get his boots that that is what pragmatism was introduced to me as how are you sure I said that I certainly hope you remember me saying something more honorable fist sword fist sword fist sword all right I sure have one HP. We have done the Crypt of the Pin. Now we should go up there. How do I like full heal? Can I full heal at this thing? Can't. Nice. Also, what is this thing? Like a lot of the technology is very, uh. Oh, that's a subway car kind of things. But I don't know what that one is. Maybe it's one of those places people go to play VR. I've never actually, like, been to one or heard of anyone saying that they have been to one. Ow. I think they're used for, like, company. Like, business events, right? A lot of the time. But movement tech does our new weapon that give us. We can now go... Well, we can do that, I guess. Can I do this and then swap and do that? Ooh! Kind of. But I'm not good enough. I think I can. My ult is just gone, by the way. Like I Oh, that insta-kills. Nice. I don't know where it went, but I can't use it anymore. <laughs> I just, like, don't have it now. The dead herds. We are leaving the dead herds behind. Should we hang out more? My free trial of weapons calls us run out. Sure. And please pay $1.99 to continue using ultimate abilities. If I do this... Jorbs out. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, this control scheme is maybe not for me. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay. 
Yes. And then... Yes. The ultimate is back. Oh, fascinating. I wonder if it's something to do with, like, killing enemies. I don't know. Just like hold this down. No, you definitely have to fix it. Never mind. Now I'm at Dry Oasis. Ooh, I could go to find the Chief Pathfinder. Okay. So much to do. The weapon switching is kind of messing with my brain. To be totally honest. Also, isn't it dry oasis just like not an oasis? Wouldn't that just be like regular desert? I don't know. I'll try to understand. I didn't just pay one ninety nine while you were watching. I might. Have. The way of the unwelcome. Do you think that's not the way that we're meant to go? Hmm. You think temporarily dry? A likely story? Wait. Yo! My friend just healed. Okay. I mean, that thing was absolutely murdering me and then walked into, into spikes and immediately died. <laughs> um, fascinating. <laughs> yes, got skill diffed for sure. I have found a way to defeat them. Oh. Maybe it's because they drink the drugs. Maybe that's why. GG. We didn't jump onto spikes and die. Clearly, we're better at this. There were a few times that we did, actually. Sacrificing a girl oh no, it's Game of Thrones. Wait, sorry, spoilers. Uh, <clears throat> this armor, I recognize it. Look, she's one of the spawn. Get her. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> well, that was a, a fair fight. Okay, maybe we won't go that way. So is there experience? Injector. You don't currently have any injector effects. So there's injector. That's kind of like experience. Oh my. What? Excuse me? Oh. This weapon allows for a three strike combo that generates zeal, a special resource used to activate blade abilities. Blades allow you to bounce off. Okay, so that's why I couldn't use my abilities, because I wasn't doing the three attack. Is it the aforementioned upgrades in the main menu? Look, not everybody reads English when it's written in front of them. Upward strike that deals nine damage. So, what could I upgrade about this? Dealing damage with cleave grants a zeal. Ooh! Okay. Dealing damage with slash increases critical hit chance by 5%. Attacks with other weapons grant a 10% critical bonus to next slash. Stacks up to 10 times. After using slash, other blade strikes deal 25% damage. Okay. 
allows you to parry a frontal attack and gain immunity for one second. Successful parry also reduces its cooldown by two seconds. Every game is Path of Exile now, isn't it? Does everybody just really like Path of Exile? What are nanites? Nanites? <laughs> I'm sorry, Hugh. Classic George decides to learn about the game mechanics after defeating half of the game with bare character and half of the body. I have not defeated half of the game. That is not correct. Um, Chakram. Fire is slashing projectile, dealing 40 damage and reducing fury cooldown by 5 seconds requires a unit of zeal. What is a fury? What is fury cooldown? A target uh, uh. nanite stacks plus one. I'm sorry, the character has mana. I don't remember us having mana. What is Juggernaut? Increases all outgoing damage for five seconds. Oh. Oh, that's our ultimate. When using, the character additionally turns into a whirlwind of blades for three seconds. OP. Blade vortex duration. Nanite stacks. Are you telling me that I could like put a nanite stack on the boss and then hide for 15 minutes and it would die? Because that would be pretty cool. I'm so good at hiding for 15 minutes. Okay. There are also implants. Wait, I didn't actually have them yet? Okay. Ah! Where'd it go? Uh, implants. Implants. Injector we don't have yet. This we have all damage increased by 15%. And I wanted to look at my glove. What does my glove do? I gain a unit of heat every second while using them, but I don't know what heat is. Suddenly the game is kind of interesting. <laughs> this is why every game's Path of Exile. They know. They know what people uh, what people like. Heat decreases two seconds longer. Is heat good? At a maximum heat, both outgoing and incoming fist damage increased by 50%. Cooling reduces all cooldowns by one second. While cooling damage is increased, critical hit damage, cooldown applies barrier. I don't know what that is. 1% of max health is added to fist damage. What I want is like lifesteal. Is there lifesteal in this game? And maximum heat taking damage restores five health. There is lifesteal, but only by taking damage. I'm not sure that's what I want. Uh, bunch of stuff for at full health, which I've never been at before, so we don't need to worry about that. Alright, that was a lot of words to say. There's no way to heal in this game. Deals multiple punches, gradually heating up. Requires 13 hits to reach maximum heat. At maximum heat, attack speed is increased by two times. Any movement resets all heat. Otherwise, heat decays over five seconds. Shall we open a spreadsheet? It's an idea for an idle game, where the gameplay is a stealth assassination slash infiltration game and you just have to wait 15 minutes for enemies to die of poison. Am I the world first gamer to have defeated Eigelspin at SL1? I doubt it. I don't, 
like ah you just have to button spam I'm now a fist man uh okay well, let's upgrade it in some way I don't really know how though um Let's go with... Wait, why do you think they're, like, red? What does that mean? Also, can I click on anything? Incoming damage reduced. Nope. No, it's like a tech tree. I have to do... I have no idea. That one? And now I can do... That one? And... Hex cannot crit that one. Oh, but that doesn't link to this. What does the red mean? <laughs> does that mean you can't have both? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? What do you all know mean? <laughs> Imagine if I just completed the game without finding this menu and then uploaded it to YouTube. Uh, yeah. I've done sillier things, probably. I don't know how long the game is. I think the red line means you can't have both. I'm not sure what the orange lines mean. We look at the implants menu. I don't have any implants yet, is what that menu said. Your favorite George lore is the time he made it all the way to Altus Plateau without going to the round table hold and upgrading his weapon. I resemble this remark. I liked when I fought that one person and everyone was like, you know, you can go to other places and do other things to level up. You don't have to just fight that one person. And I was like, leave me alone. And then I kept fighting that one person. Uh, Elden Ring was a good time. I keep on thinking about how I should do another Elden Ring now that the DLC's out. Um, I have not played it since the DLC released. But in theory... I could both play it and play the DLC now. It's like leave and go this way, because I didn't like those people. They seem very strong. Weird that the upgrades seem to all be tied to the weapons. Is there more somewhere else? There are implants. Maybe it's the injector? I just, I feel like there should be some toughness related upgrades as well that I haven't seen yet. You know what I'm saying? Oh. It's a lot of buttons to press in quick succession. Oop. I have to press left angle. Okay. Nope. Can I go there and then there? Oh, I can. So maybe I can just do it like this. Ah! I got it, I got it, I got it, don't worry. Ah! Yes! Okay. And then? Oh god, it just pushes you. Okay, well, it's okay, it's okay. Proof of concept. <laughs> well, the weapon ones give you plus 50 health. Yeah, that's probably a decent amount. 
Turning Elden Ring over to eventually make it a DLC was really rewarding for you. Had a lot more fun with the base game with sort of half remote notion of where to go. I really sanded the rough edges. This game also makes me think of Elden Ring. Like doing that boss fight, I was like, I have I have played so much Elden Ring. I am so good at this now. I don't know if this is what I meant to do. It sure doesn't really feel like it. Oh, I'm on fire or something. That was weird. These are very Sisyphean, aren't they? Do you think? I think we must imagine them happy. Okay, we're up here. Now what? Just kind of assuming... Oh, secret. What's that strange smell? I shouldn't linger here. I'll end up laying next to them. The conversation failed. Negotiations are over. The leader broke the head of the big guy, Maru's son, sent. The leader broke the head of the big guy, Maru's son, sent. Gotcha. The bearded one is crazy. He drinks such a swill that it burns the skin, so his head rots. When will you brew this new potion of yours? Critical hit chance increased 15% when health is above 50%, so never. Okay. Useful. Thank you. Bloom. Successfully parry. Successful parry restores. One. Injector charge. Okay, but what's an injector? What's an injector charge? <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. No! No! Ooh, okay. Injector equals health to me. Oh, that's the things that heal me. Gotcha. Wait, I wonder how I get them back regularly. Oh, I'm here now. We did it. I feel like it shouldn't have been that hard to get back here. But somehow it was. <laughs> have you considered the beetle grubs are just incredibly lost? I think they know exactly where they are. Cat is yelling at me. Ah! Harry. Alright, now I can, like, full heal. I'm OP. Also, as a bonus, I've started parrying, which seems to be very strong. Yes, the purple thingies are a movement ability. I don't know why that was explained at the start. That's if you get the flail or whatever the last uh, weapon is. And tiny metaphorically, I'm doing pretty well. I guess I already had infinite health by just going to these things. If only we didn't tell Jorbs about game mechanics, we could stop him from becoming too powerful. I think the important takeaway from all this is look at how much worse I've gotten at reading, because Twitch chat just tells me everything, so I feel like I don't have to read anymore. This is learned helplessness or whatever. And I choose to blame you for it. <laughs> as I no longer have to take any personal responsibility for anything. Oh, 
Uh, oh, interesting. It's like pretty hard to get back up there with my stuff. Wait, what? Fascinating. How do I tell when I can do that? I should have Twitch chat read my book to me. Nope. <laughs> I'm good. Well, oh, that was kind of smooth. Okay, right, so this is a thing I can grab onto. Where am I now? I'm trying to go that way. But how can I achieve such a goal? this? Is this the way I came from? I'm just trying to go back the way I came from, which is kind of absurd. It's not like I'm just fool. Why are there red markers? Ah, these things are like ranged attacking me. Okay. like fists would be good against those, since apparently I'm just kind of standing here for a really long time. And as far as I can tell, that's what the fists are good at doing. Map. Dens of the Wicked Tongues. Yes, I see why they're called that. Can I get up there. It doesn't feel like it. Maybe you come from a different direction to get up there. Unless you can bounce off this. I put shout right my second book. Sure. Never heard of a better idea. Also, you can take over the streaming. Uh, ah, too many buttons. I'm not used to using the D pad as a uh, thing that I actually press. could write about the grams of random chat sentence after 15 minutes or so. Love that idea. Alright, I want to go left from here. Wait, that's where I just was. What? Look, that doesn't make any sense. There was a thing to do in here, like a quest. I was meant to, uh... What is the quest? Finish off the toothy bush. Ah, I pressed the wrong button!
Oh my god. Wait, you can just- Oh, okay. I feel silly now. <laughs> Was that the robot? Did I just hear the little robot that's our friend? I think I just heard the little robot. Okay. And then? Now where am I? I'm at the Path of the Uneaten. Okay. <gasps> Progress. Wrong bees! I didn't drink too much potion. It wasn't a sting, it was a spear. A bee with a spear. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. But keep in mind, the creature wields it so fast you can't keep track of it. It will instantly pierce your fat belly. Five percent more damage against a drone. Oh, baby. Implying injector against a 25% damage bonus for 15 seconds. Very exciting. pages. I agree that that is really fun. These wings are bigger than the local bees. Who lost them? I don't know. What is the answer? Naya. Ow. Now we're up here? Wait, does it show where you are? No, it doesn't. What do we do if the bee has a spear? This is what we were warned about. The bees. The Hive of Silent Sorrow. We did it. The bee does, in fact, have a spear. Uh, where did my sword go? Like, this is going to be all right. <laughs> it doesn't deal any damage, because I sure would have died like seven minutes ago if it did. Alright. The mood of the game improved after the voice acting stopped. Wait, I'm down here? Oh my gosh, that's a bit too far to go. The bee's kinda hot? You're a bee fan? Fair enough. I like the voice acting. Is it because 
Or are you talking about my voice acting? Maybe you're talking about my voice acting. How dare you say such cruel things about my voice acting? I don't remember where I went. Oh, I went up there. And then what? Over here? Up here? This is one of those runbacks that they warned me about when I was playing Elden Ring. Up here? Up here. There's probably a respawn point that's closer. Feels like the game just hasn't been that cool to me yet. Why would it start now, you know? I'll just look around and maybe there's like, is there one in here maybe? Is this the the tongue place? <laughs> the tongue place. The tunnels of dishonor. Oh, that's exactly where I live. Uh, these things. Can do that sort of platforming. Hello. It got it itself, but someone else chopped off its head and wings. I got 5% more damage against the drone. How do I hit that? Ah! <laughs> I need to develop my fight strategy. Clearly what I did last time is not going to be good enough. Ow. Man, how did it know? It led me very well there. Twitch chat. Who's watching India vs. Australia? The test match is off to a rollicking start. After you are done watching my stream tonight, you can watch some... Uh, Test match cricket. I'm headed out to a concert myself. Is it here? What is here? The Devouring Maze. Oh, what's this? Find the Tamer of Iron. Let's go look for the Tamer of Iron real quick. We're watching Formula One tonight? But it's Friday. Is it practice? There are people who watch Formula One free practice? Is that what you're telling me? I guess that's why they broadcast it. Oh, there's a sprint race. Oh, that actually is kind of cool. Qualifying's tonight. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's a little, uh... Has a little lure. Let's try and 
can't get you to eat, I've just realized. Is it a weird time so it works in Europe? It's because it's in Vegas and they like run it on the Vegas Strip, which is used for people to drive on. Uh, yeah, that's why. So they have to run it like in the middle of the night. Okay, we have unsuccessfully made it through the Devouring Maze. Surprising, I suppose, nobody given the name. stuff up here. I don't think I can get to it. Uh... Ooh. I jumped right into that. These feel like they are clearly able to be destroyed by something. Oh, it just keeps going. I don't need inputs anymore. It's fun. They seem like they're clearly able to be destroyed by something, but it is clearly not the thing that I am doing. You can do a gauntlet fire punch for a little height and then swap to sword and do up air. Can you just keep swapping and jumping up forever? Uh, so the fire thing has a cooldown, but I wonder if in theory I could do that. So up air, up, and then up air again. No, you can only do one up air with the sword per jump it looks like. At least the way I'm doing it. Have I tried talking to the bee? You're suggesting that I talk to a bee? Like in English? Have you thought about how you sound right now? <gasps> I did it! Wait, no, this isn't where I was. I was trying to go there. I've just found the, the boss room where I'm going to die again. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh well. <laughs> we'll, we'll give it one more go. Ow. Unlock myself seven times. All right. Can I just die? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> GG. Okay. Wonderful. Um. Oh, I have evening plans, so I think I'm gonna head out. Concert starts in not too long, and I have to get downtown. Uh. So. The game looks fun but hard. Yes. I think that's like par for the course for a game like this, right? They are generally enjoyable and challenging. My favorite parts of them is always, I've switched between plural and singular, but my favorite part of them is always when you are fighting a boss and like respawning 50 times to learn all the patterns and then eventually you finally get the kill. That is how I vibe best with games like this. The exploration is fun, but I think, um, I think other people enjoy it more than me, is how I will say it. Like, if it could just be boss fight after boss fight after boss fight, that would be my personal ideal for one of these games. Which is kind of what... Um, thingamajig is. Beat Saber. I feel like that's what Beat Saber is. You just keep on fighting the same boss over and over again until you win. Are you telling me this man has killed Eigelspin on second try? 
It didn't seem that hard. Oh. <laughs> um, I will probably not be here tomorrow. I won't be here tonight, and I probably won't be here tomorrow. But I am planning a stream on Sunday, and it's possible I'll stream tomorrow evening. I don't really have that much else to do. I have a trip to pack for, I guess, but that's not until Wednesday. I can wait for a while before I do that. Certainly easier than a flower, Eagle Spin. Oh, I see. You're saying you're making fun of me for dying to a flower. That's fair. Uh, if the game <laughs> looks interesting to you, this is the link to the Kickstarter. I'm putting it in chat right now. If you're watching on YouTube, it's below the video. And yeah. Is the game able to be wishlisted on Steam? I have access to the game on Steam. I want to suggest also that if you like the look of the game, wishlisting a game on Steam always helps out the devs, especially if they're trying to like get people excited about a Kickstarter, right? Being able to say, like, a gazillion people wishlisted our game on Steam. It'll be a lot easier to uh, make other people, like, get invested in the game, etc., etc., etc. Anyway, I've had fun with it. I hope you have too. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And I hope to see you either tomorrow or Sunday. And if not, have a good weekend.